like totally tubular man i'm michelangelo welcome to gab live yeah it's our four seasons of gymnastics at gab so today we are totally totally gonna be celebrating me quiet michelangelo we're not celebrating you we're doing it what 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 are we doing what are, what are you doing leo i just want to punch someone Hey guys, I'm Leo. Uh, I'm in charge. I boss everybody around. Tell everybody what to do. Not me. I'm the smartest. I make gadgets. I'm Donatello. Ha 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 ha. So what we're doing today is we're going to go ahead and have a Halloween theme. So I hope all you kids have a fun Halloween costume. And you can see for Halloween, we are wearing, um, we're, other than our birthday suit, we're, um, we're dressed as ninjas. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Hero in a Half Shell. Turtle power. Because we all know that ninjas are great gymnasts. See, look at this. Whoa, Kareel. Pa, ninja kick. Whoa, poof, poof, poof. Whoa, Kareel, Kareel. Oh, headstand. One hand headstand. I'll hold it forever. Yeah, totally tubular, man. So there you have it. We have our ninjas. So, if you haven't picked up yet, obviously, I, for my Halloween costume for our fall theme, because that's what we are doing is our four seasons of GAB is uh, Ninja Turtle, what's up? yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Kids with Turtles, and then we got our nunchucks, yeah, yeah, my, yeah, yeah. I go with that one again. I have a hard time with that. The chucker number thing. Good. Okay. So, welcome to GAB Live. I hope you guys got your costumes ready. Little girls got their princesses things on. Maybe the unicorns galloping around. So, we are going to start out getting warmed up today for our Halloween. But since I'm a Ninja Turtle, we're going to start doing some kicks ninja style, getting all warmed up, so you're kicking up high. So I want one leg forward, and I want to make sure I don't step on my little ninja toys. One leg is forward, other leg's back, and we're kicking up high with the back leg. And kicking up high, as high as you can, to get our hamstrings nice and loop. Let's do a whole lot of kicks on one side. And remember, gymnasts do kicks too. The girls practice them on beam. Uh, they'll also do them to get speed up for some of the skills, kicking the legs high, and switch legs, and kick high, and kick high, as high as you can, nice and high, and we pretend like we're doing ninja kicks, we can just try to balance as we do it, big high kicks, and now we're going to work on fast feet, fast feet, side to side, side to side, okay, Mr. Rob is really going to wish he was watching this lesson, so we do is we do our, our kick, and then switch speed, and then kick again, and switch feet, and kick again, and go fast, switching back and forth fast. Now this is really going to help get your heart rate up. So you just like, just like your mom does in her cardio kickboxing class, or Tai Bo, right? Yeah, Billy Bo. There we go, getting warmed up. Getting warmed up, good. And then, what else do ninjas do? They have ninja stars. So you do star jumps, that's where you come down, and we come out and in out and in. So it's kind of like a jumping jack, except you're coming all the way up to an open position and then back down into your, into your, what? What is this? Let me see if I can shift my camera down just a little more. All right, there we go. Okay. So we're getting down here and star jumps and star jumps. Try and get in, in and out. Let's see, keep going, keep going. A few more of them. Go, 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 and go. Good, there we go. Okay, so let's see. Anyone dressed as ice skaters for Halloween? Let's see. We've done a lot of the ice skaters. The skaters, we've gone side to side. We're actually gonna do that today. Let's just work on some balance, like your ice skating. Legs back. And you're gonna do this as part of your winter sports theme with Dev too. Balancing, so you start practicing it now. Balancing, leaning forward. Good. In gymnastics, we call this a scale, right? There you go. Or if you're dressed as an airplane, now. now we are going to connect that 
I'm sorry. I'm going to spin this around just a little bit so I have more control over pointing it down lower. All right. Perfect. Now it's a little more of the ground, but okay. We are going to connect that to our handstand. So I want you to figure out which foot do you put in front when you handstand? Your left foot or your right foot? I do my left foot. Now, we're going to do our scale. All of here, raise our heel. Now this is like our super T that we do for our handstand position. Remember that? How we do the, um, the arms are right up here and our heel is up. Same thing, except airplane. And then arms going to come up and I'm going to go right up into my handstand from there. Can you guys do it like that? So I'm going to go scale. Try to hold it for three seconds. One, two, three. Hands down. Kick up in your handstand and back. Good. Let's try it again. Whole idea though is to keep that leg up. So as we reach out and come forward, all right, we are going to go right to here. Two, three. Then your arms come up to super T and handstand. Oh, see how I control my landing? Now, are you good enough to do it on the other side? Well, let's see. Let's see if you can do your not so good leg. Balance, two, three. Arms up, kick up to your handstand. Oh, and hold landing. Oh. So see how I'm controlling that position when I come back? So I'm starting on one foot and finishing on one foot. Let's try it again. That's how my handstand wasn't so good, was it? One, two, three, up, and whoa. Oh. Oh. What do you think? Wasn't so great. Wasn't the worst thing. Well, we've done better, right? Okay. And another one of our key skills we work on like every single day because it's foundational is our cartwheels, right? Our cartwheels only I'm an inch turtle, right? So because I'm something amazing and I'll bet that you are something amazing too right now. What amazing are you? I don't know. Are you dressed as a gorilla? Are you dressed as, oh, one of the guys from Onward, please tell me you saw Onward. Oh my gosh, that movie's so good. Oh, you have to see it. Okay, this is just Leonardo the Ninja Turtle talking. Okay, gonna get our lunge, hands down. We'll do a couple cartwheels first, just warming up again. Couple cartwheels, hands, kick over, boom, good. You're gonna be kicking higher than I am because you don't have the low ceiling I have, right? Boom, okay. Now we're gonna make it a one-handed cartwheel. Now, if you've done, you haven't done this before, we'll start with a really low kick. Instead of kicking over our head, we'll go sideways. But first, we get in our position lunge. My left foot is forward. My left hand is going to go on the ground. So first, decide. Whichever foot's forward, slap your leg with that hand to no. Give yourself a, a leg slap. There you go. It's like, dun, 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 right? Okay, that's the hand. Other hand can go on your hip. You can hold it out. You can get totally tubular if you're surfing. Okay. Now, I'm going to put my hand down, and again, if you're experienced with these, you can kick right over and go for it. Remember, as you come over the top, you want to turn so you land facing the other direction, right? If you're not as experienced at this, we're going to put our hand down before we kick, and we're going to kind of jump sideways a little bit. Ready? Hand, and I'm going to swing my legs around the side. Swing them, boom, boom. Now, notice I didn't do both feet at the same time. Even though I'm doing a low one, I'm still doing foot, foot. So, hand down, foot, foot. There we go. Let's see if you can try that a couple more times. Start kicking up higher. Maybe you can even get comfortable enough to put your hand in your hip and kick the leg all the way up over your head. All the way up high. Where'd I go? Oh no. Where'd I go? Oh. I'm a ninja. We disappear. We must never be seen. Whew. Okay. So, a couple more one handed cartwheels. Ready? One. Ah. And two. Ah. Okay. And. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Halloween decorations, you know. Okay. A new skill we have not worked on with you guys yet. Okay. We are going to do our headstands. Now we need to make sure we've got a soft spot. So I'll give you a minute if you need to grab something to put your head on, uh, whether it be a blanket, a comforter, uh, we've done sleeping bag stuff, 
even what's another one you could do um your uh, mom's got a yoga mat even a pillow you want to go grab a pillow go grab a pillow and that'll make it a little softer for this one too uh if you're allowed to use your couch cushions <laughs> so while you guys are getting those we are going to talk about the headstand okay because it's right and wrong way first thing is i want my head straight just like in my handstands my head's between my arms my head's going to stay here okay i'm not going to go here and put my face on the ground i'm going to put the top of my head on the ground and I'm gonna make a triangle with my hands. So I put my hands on the ground, and I can put my head, if I put my hands, I'm not gonna put my head between my hands. That's not a triangle, right? That's a straight line. I'm gonna fall right over one way or the other. I'm gonna go here. Yeah. There you go. So this is a base for tomorrow. Deb's gonna do some more work with you on these tomorrow, but right now we're just gonna get the triangle position down, okay? So we're gonna get our hands down, and we're gonna put our head down. And we get right here and get comfortable with this. There we go. You know where you are on this? There you go. And in that base, we're going to do some open close jumps and some scissor kicks. We're not going all the way up to our headstands today. That's going to be tomorrow. Deb's going to work with you on your tripod position and going all the way up there. But right now, we're just going to get comfortable upside down, finding our stability. So we are going to put our hands down. We're going to put our head down. And I want you to straighten your legs, just like this. A straight, I'm sorry, and in the straddle. And bring them together and apart. Together, apart, together, apart. There we go. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And you're gonna walk them up a little more. Walk them down a little more. Now, if you fell over when you did that, you probably had your hands too close to your head. We want to have a wide base for this. Hands, head, walk them up. Walk them back down. Let's do some scissor kicks. Let's raise one leg. Switch them. Switch them. There we go. Switch them up and down, up and down, up and down. Good. How do we feel? Comfortable with those? Okay. Let's try doing some forward rolls from that position. Just so we know how to go over safely. If we do fall over when we start working on these, we want to make sure we're tucking our chin and rolling safely. So let's practice putting our hands down. And maybe I'll turn this down just a wee little more so you can see. I know, you're like, hey, a ninja turtle with a beard? That's not a teenager. <laughs> I know, right? Even though I act like that sometimes. Okay, so hands. Head isn't going to go between the hands. It's going to go up here. Make that triangle. And... What I'm going to do is I'm going to get up and I'm going to tippy toe walk right into a forward roll. Okay? Hands, head, tippy toe walk till my bum is all over my head. And then I'm going to tuck my chin in somersault. Good. Then you can hold your knees to your chest in the tuck and do some rock and rolls backwards. If you're really good, go for backwards somersault. Feel free. You can put your hands behind your head and I'll lay back. All right, let's do that roll again. Hands. And tippy toe walk, tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe. Oh, roll back my head. I can tuck my chin and big roll. And back and forth. Good. Let's do that one more time. Okay. We've done a lot of work on rolls in these classes. All right. Hands. Make a triangle. Remember, if I go line between my hands, my head is there. It's the wrong spot. Triangle. Here, tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe, and roll. Awesome. Kawabunga! Good. All right. And while we're down here, think Halloween thing, think of black cats. Let's do some cat stretches. Ready? These are really nice to do. Let's do a big stretch, reaching forward. Oh, that's one of the ways a cat stretches, right? And then, you know when the cat gets angry, it's like, Rear! they think hollow. That's our big gymnastics positions are hollow. The tuck is when our knees are in. The pike is right here. And the hollow is when our straight body, and we kind of hollow right there. So we're going to protect our claws. We're going to hollow. Raise it up. And then arch it out. 
And then raise it up. Good. Now why don't we put our hands down, jump to our tuck position. And we're gonna try jumping from a tuck, sorry, from a plank through a tuck to a front plank. So let's start here. We're gonna go to here. Just crushed my Halloween wreath. Oh! Don't tell anyone. I'm just gonna right there. That's because what's what ninjas do? We just break things because we're ninjas. We're like, ah! Yeah! Yeah! That's what ninjas do. Ah! So I'll just. <laughs> this jack o' lantern had a bad day. Let's just. <laughs> Sorry. We are gonna go hands down. Feet behind. Try to jump them all the way through. Pull them. Oh, can't quite pull them all the way back. Let's see if you can pull them all the way through back. Start with your feet behind you. Jump. Pull them through. Walk out and then try to drag them all the way back to your tuck. See if you can pull them back through there. So you can go back and forth a couple times. It takes a lot of flexibility to lift your bum up back and forth. Tuck through. Let's try one more time. Ready? Go. Big jump. Awesome. Okay. Well, we had a handful of things we worked on today. We had some one-handed cartwheels. We started prepping you guys for your headstands. So you know tomorrow, you guys have a lesson with Dev. There's no preschool class tomorrow morning, but we do have the grade school one with Dev. It's going to be winter, winter time, winter games. You guys can do more work on that headstand position. You go all the way up, tripod and headstand. So. Think ahead, have a pad of some sort ready, make sure you bring it, uh, enjoy your, hey, spend the rest of your day like this. Enjoy it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Not, like, I mean, not like a ninja turtle, <laughs> you know, but whatever you're dressed as today, if you're Batman, man, be Batman today. I'm Batman. I got the optional nine pack. Yeah. No, that's Lego Batman, but still good Batman. So. Thanks for coming, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the lesson today. Uh, I gave you a few things to work on, those squat through positions, uh, getting your head down in the right position, somersaulting, a handful of new things today. So thanks for joining us, guys. And oh yeah, and we are about to put out the new session of GAB Zoom classes. So uh, that should be on just a little later tonight, probably within the hour, <laughs> depending on when you watch this. So uh, you guys can jump on the next session of classes. We're just doing two week sessions for now. Payments optional. You know, uh, we know it's a tough time right now for some people. So um, if you can contribute, keep these up and running. That's awesome. We appreciate it. You can pay what you think it's worth. But at the same time, if you're in a tough spot, that's okay. You know, we want to be able to provide this for you. But you do have to register for it. We are emailing out to all of our members the registration password to get on, to log on and register. So uh, you can get the, um, the link to register from our website, from our Facebook, probably by the end of the hour. You're registering for session two classes. They start next week, just a couple weeks. We have all age groups. You know, we got kindergarten, first grade, we've got preschool, we've got fifth grade and up. We got a handful of them. Kids are having a great time with the teachers. A lot of your favorite teachers are on doing this. Miss Mary and Miss Lindsay and Mr. Dev and me. Yeah. Gotta get no. Oh, you're like, put it back on, put it back on. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That being said, um, so get on, get signed up for that. You do need the registration password. You've got to get that from us. Uh, so please don't share that information with people who aren't members because we don't want the classes filling up uh, with people who aren't members of our gym. You know, this is a service that we're providing to you guys. Uh, so thank you for your service and being with us. So um, yeah, so that's it. Make sure you get registered for those. And uh, you guys have a good week. Again, be back here tomorrow, 3.30 for Dev. All right.